My name is Cynthia Wood, and I am a coupon hippaholic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This doesn't look like the CCA meeting. Coupon Clippers Anonymous. Oops. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. I was just kidding. There's no CCA. But maybe there should be for people like me. But you see, I have a problem. I am a compulsive coupon clipper. Now I have nothing against coupons when taken in moderation. It's only when you cross that line into hardcore clipping addiction that maybe a CCA chapter is your only hope. How many coupon clippers do we have here tonight? <laughs> How many of you consider yourselves coupon junkies? <laughs> if you don't know, tonight you may find out. For I'll be giving those early warning signs, those telltale signs of addiction, along with putting to rest some common myths about coupon clipping. But first, let's see how someone gets hooked on this habit in the first place. For me, it was really quite innocent. At the birth of my first son, parents, friends, and diaper companies themselves would send me dollar off coupons on diapers. How could I resist? A dollar saved is a dollar saved, right? Also at this time, caught the Good Morning America show featuring a professional coupon clipper with tips on how to clip and how to buy groceries for free. Free was the magic catch word that got me hooked. You see, after all these years, I had a means to prove my daddy wrong. As he used to tell us kids, in this world, you'll never get anything for nothing. Ha! Off I went with my little white envelope with coupons. My first quest was a small bottle of French's mustard. Thanks to my 49 cent off coupon, double value, I brought home free mustard. Soon though, I found I couldn't go shopping without that little white envelope of coupons. The frustration of leaving them home was just too great. I guess this is where I crossed that line from a cute little pastime of saving a dollar here and there to a compulsion never, never to buy a known coupon item without the coupon. For now, you're talking about throwing money away. All oh, the warning signs were all there if I could have only seen them coming. The first was throwing away that white, white envelope and buying one of these. <laughs> a coupon roller. And friends, they come in all colors, sizes, and styles. I've seen your TV dime. But they're all the same. Part of that addiction. Next, you start holding up long lines in the grocery store. And you don't even care. You start going through discarded boxes of coupons found at work, at the stores, wherever. And this is sad. Sad. For we all know these are the dregs of coupons. <laughs> those buy five, get one free, and you're never going to use those five to buy. <laughs> or those free trial size coupons. And the stores never carry those items in trial size. But I guess the biggest telltale sign of all is when someone close to you points out that, hey, I don't think you have a problem. <laughs> My husband did years ago. I paid him no mind for, hey, I was saving money. Forget the fact the poor guy hadn't seen a roast or steak in months. <laughs> no, my fault they're not coupon items. <laughs> now, frozen TV dinners. Don't knock them. They're high value coupon and they're so quick and easy free enough time for you to go through the coupons. <laughs> I guess by now you can see that I was running into some trouble. So I did some long, hard thinking about coupons and came up with three myths. Myth one coupons save you money. You think this is true as you come home bragging that you just saved 15, 20 dollars on coupons? It's just a shame you had to spend the 200 on the groceries. Just buy five, you know. Coupons actually can cost you money if you think your time has any value. This is calculating how much I was spending on coupons. And this includes your selecting, your clipping, your sorting, discarding, and prearranging for your next shopping expedition. I was spending over an hour a week, making roughly five, seven dollars on the coupons. The funny thing is I had overtime options at work. If I were to work just one extra hour overtime, I could make three times as much. Second myth, coupons are fun. Starts off that way, that's how you get hooked. 
But once you become addicted, coupons are frustrating. And frustration is believing the edges of those coupon sheets are really perforated. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 